All right. Hello, phone on boxer watchers. We have a special treat for you today. It is a sneak peek unbox. Well, there's no box to unbox, but sneak peek view of the new LG G3. Phone isn't even in the market yet. So we're about to take a look at it. This isn't a fake, it's a real phone. We have the gold edition. As you can tell, it's got the IR blaster at the top. It's got your buttons on the back, along with its 13 megapixel camera with autofocus, the flash, and another infrared blaster. At the bottom, you can see the mic, which is a tiny dot. The, U, the micro USB charging port and data port, as well as the headphone port. To turn it on, you click this center button right there, and you hold it. Life's good. And we will be waiting for it to boot up. It's got a little LED right there that blinks. And here it is, it's got that stock background picture that you see on the pictures of the phone. Wicked sharp display. If I could get it to focus. Let's turn it on. So it's got these buttons at the bottom, the soft touch buttons. So we're going to take a first look at the specs of the phone. It's got a dual window capability. You drag one app up and one drag one down. So I've got my, my gallery up here and I got my SMS Google Hangouts at the bottom. Let's go into the settings. As you can tell, it's got that stock Android uh, KitKat 4.4 icons. Obviously, I can't activate the phone because it doesn't even get officially released until tomorrow. This is against all of LG's uh, protocols and uh, terms of use. You know, we're sacrificing a lot showing you this video here. But it's worth it to see your guys' uh, very, you know, nice comments that you give. So let's go down to About Phone. It's called the G3, which I previously mentioned. It has KitKat 4.4.2. There you go, spinning K. That's money. Android 4.4.2. It's got a nice kernel. This phone works on the Sprint Spark network. That was a dumb thing to show. Where is the... Let's go to storage and see how much stock storage comes with it. Internal storage is 32 gigabytes. Right off the bat. bat and then... Uh, user gigabytes is 24 gigabytes let's check out the camera because it's supposed to have really wicked awesome camera features doesn't even look like it's there as you can tell it's a pristine camera you can't even tell the difference
That's how you take pictures. You just click it and you can tell it's got these six autofocus dots that appear on the screen. You just tap it to take the pictures, which is pretty neat. Uh, very nice camera. You know, that's the front face camera. I'm gonna figure out how to exit out of this before somebody sees me. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know how to exit out of this. Oh, there's a little back button. And then we get back to the home screen. It's got a very interesting dialer, as you can tell, you can just kind of... And then it just dials. You got contacts. Contacts is useful for uh, people that you want, that you call regularly, and you may not remember their phone numbers. So this phone has a special feature called a contact list. You may, you might remember it, it's similar to a Rolodex, where you have a person's name and phone number and contact information. And you can also add a person's, uh, what do you call it, picture. See, this is how you make a new contact. It's very interesting. text messaging app that's not Google Hangouts is awesome. You can, as you can tell, it's got autocorrect and everything. It's a very reactive, I think it's the best calibrated screen out of any smartphone to date. It's a very bright screen. This is volume, however. Let's see if we can turn up. Turn up the, oh, see, screen effect is retro. Uh, TV so when you turn it off it'll like that it's called the retro TV black hole is pretty neat or yeah this check out that it's like a circle when it's then another really neat one is the fade out it kind of just it out uh, fades out so it's got a clock, very nice sharpest screen out of any phone right now, that's including the S5. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of bloatware. The calculator is very, you know, it's a neat calculator app. You've got all 10 numbers, 0 through 9. You've got the all clear, the percentage, the dividing. Uh, parentheses. Parentheses are, whoa, and then if you rotate it, you've got all these other things like uh, DAG and that goofy looking end thing. It's got this Nike check mark button. It's got this X with a tiny number on top of it. Really, I mean, just like things that you would never use unless you were a, you know, a computer rocket. You know, it's got this log, tan, cause, sin, shift, rad, you know, <laughs> personally my favorite is the rad button, you know, because it's a rad calculator. Multitask buttons, you know, we're going to clear all, very neat, fills up 